Rightio. Uh, well, thanks for having me, um, Neil Murgard, Lark Man. That's what I'm generally known as at, at home. And uh, small tour operator, 22 years of uh, larking around. Um, we've got plenty of larkronyms and all whatnot. So uh, basically, uh, I've been invited here to, uh, from an operator point of view, as most of you are, to sort of give you my experiences on how we've uh, delivered, there we go, how we've delivered um, uh, increased uh, business to our business just by, you know, working with the social media um, aspects and opportunities. And by the way, I might add, it is rather fun. Uh, if you don't know where I am, uh, it's um, on the east coast of Australia, a beautiful country. And then, of course, we're home in on Queensland and just north of Fraser Island is um, the town of 1770 between Bundaberg and Gladstone. On the coast there, uh, as you can see by that um, local image, uh, we basically run uh, these tours along the coastline and essentially highlighting our, um, our wildlife and, and talking about our history. And I'm sure any tour, op where's our tour operators here? The tour operators? Yep. The, the value of uh, our, our nature and our, our beautiful planet is uh, what underpins our business and eco-certified um, tourism operators, uh, you know, we, we got to stick together and it's an industry that we need to grow and uh, promote. And of course, uh, I have a range of products within uh, what I do. So this is home. Um, it's a pretty little spot. That's the estuary in the foreground of uh, Round Hill Creek. And in the background, you see over the peninsula there, uh, we've got the, um, the beach of Agnes Water. So I'm fortunate to have surf on one side and then uh, a pristine coastline where I go exploring with these unique craft. So uh, 22 years ago my dad opened a trader boat magazine and said check this out you want to go and have a look at it? And I'm like yeah sure thing uh, and that changed my life uh, forever. Uh, the LARC is an acronym for Lighter Amphibious Resupply Cargo Vessel and it is technically a boat you have a look under the back there big propeller and uh, away we go. We, we pretty much can cover any part of the terrain, including uh, visiting a lighthouse. So we've got four different uh, opportunities or experiences for people. And uh, well, the, the premier tour for us is the Paradise Tour. We go and visit the historic Bustard Head Lighthouse. It was Queensland's first. And in essence, uh, that was uh, taken from a fully demolished smashed to bits, demolition site, trashed to what you see there today. Uh, and it's been done with a lot of hard work uh, and 22 years of effort uh, and uh, a passion to, um, you know, fulfil our dreams. And ultimately, uh, we want to have fun with what we do. You know, the tourism industry is all about that. And uh, we've, we've done it. We've restored the light station and we basically uh, take people out for... Uh, a seven hour experience on that. Uh, another tour, and this is targeting our um, uh, short stay, our, our weekend warriors, people who drop into town for uh, lunch. Uh, we take them out for two hour experience, lunch on the beach, basically. Uh, we are completely random, we do whatever we like, we have a set format, but uh, you know, whatever uh, gives for the day. So uh, we'll just uh, be creative and uh, basically uh, spontaneous. A la carte restaurant, no. <laughs> uh, so uh, using hashtags, Restaurant Australia. Uh, this one here is our, hang on a minute. That's our generic photo, that's a generic photo. Looking across the bay, in the background you can see across the bay there, um, we've got uh, that massive coastline and we, we transverse 30 kilometres of the coast in the lark and uh, we give a variety of different experiences. One that uh, we developed a bit over 12 months ago uh, is the Goulombal walkabout, Black Cockatoo walkabout. Uh, and ultimately to deliver an experience, obviously to guests who have been before, but to target that niche market of the um, international visitor who really wants an indigenous experience. Uh, I am keen to talk to any operators that do that, uh, just so I can uh, you know, we can feed off each other and, and throw a few ideas around. 
the local indigenous word Gullumbul is for the black cockatoo, uh, in which we have resident population and a transient population. The place gets packed out with black cockatoos and uh, uh, I have a variety of guides that come through. They do a bit, they go walk about, they have their uh, men's business and uh, their tribal uh, stuff and we, we accept that. Uh, and at the moment I've got Uncle Brian and he's, he's a pretty solid rock. Uncle Brian is excellent at his delivery and uh, representing his culture. And uh, of course it gives indigenous people an opportunity to showcase their culture and grow the understanding for Indigenous people and the hardships of their history. Uh, and we go into that on tour, I don't sort of hold back. I make it known that uh, there's been a massive interruption to their culture and opportunities to uh, build on that and grow appreciation for how complex and awesome the Indigenous uh, world was. So, um, <clears throat> a few stats here for you. Uh, so. We, we got busy, I, I decided, because I've been running this business for 22 years, mainly, mainly paper brochures, the odd ad, um, working with the RTOs and so on. And like being the boss, you can do whatever you like, right? And I'm going on holidays for three weeks, but that aside, uh, it turns out that you can direct people to, you know, do little bits and pieces, fit it in around their work and uh, just, not necessarily prioritise it, but make sure it's part of your daily activity that your staff are doing stuff, even you know between phone calls or whatever. And uh, we decided to up the ante and um, you know make it make it um, an opportunity for those little moments for the staff to to work on the digital side of our our business. And uh, as a result, uh, we've seen major increases uh, over over like pretty much instantaneously. And that, that really makes a difference for our business where we were just scraping through each year to now, um, I can stand here and say, our business is in the best position ever in 22 years. And it's that, that growth has been uh, largely attributed to our activity facing, uh, looking into the digital world. It is a little bit uh, uh, scary, but when you realise that everyone's got a well, not everyone, but most people have a mobile phone and in some access to the internet uh, and engaging your guests. So um, the, the, you yeah, have a look at the numbers here and the, the feed coming into our website now is growing massively. You can see uh, Australia.com uh, right at the top there. It's gone from pretty much zero activity to it's, it's happening, right? So engaging your partners, uh, and they're all there beside you. Obviously, these guys uh, are in our part of the world, and we have a good su support network, but uh, it really is uh, an opportunity to um, use them for leveraging to, to get your product moved up the line and uh, your referrals. Uh, there is a reduction there, and that's our local uh, RTO and of course we use these figures now to apply uh, a little bit of incentive or pressure to them to say hey guys you can you can help us out to improve your game. Okay now uh, where it uh, comes down to our accessibility to our customers um, and where, you, where you're putting it out there uh, is uh, the social networks obviously Facebook uh, hands up if your business has got a Facebook page. Pretty much everyone, right? Uh, it, it gives you the opportunity not only to uh, showcase what you do and in, attract more visitors, it gives your word of mouth, you know, lots of legs, lots of ways of being put out there. And um, <clears throat> just by merely being focused, you know, getting the girls in the office to add a new post and, and get, engage the, the customers, uh, it really, really helps. Uh, it's that best word of mouth, you know. It's just like talking to someone down at the caravan park amenities block and saying, oh, you've got to do that tour. Obviously, they can click like or share or whatever, and they're telling 100, 200, 500 friends, you know, this is awesome. And that, it's that word of mouth, you can't buy it, right? Likewise with uh, TripAdvisor. 
Uh, we've got a five star rating, which we're proud about. We're excellent. Um, I got a flat tyre a couple of weeks ago and uh, we got a three star rating. That's about our only uh, dodgy rating for, um, oh by the way, if you have tyres, they occasionally go flat, but we got a boat and we can drive in the water. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Uh, so anyway, essentially, uh, TripAdvisor, that's where uh, you, you've got an opportunity to showcase your product. But the thing with it is if you're doing a dodgy job, you're gonna, that, that's where you get persecuted, right? And it comes down to your activity and respect for your customers' comments. So I, I troll through TripAdvisor, checking other operators in the area, and you get people who are really defensive about the review that they've got. But you've got to understand, if you were in their shoes, you had their experience, you have that opportunity to um, you know, give some feedback. And if, if you have a look at our TripAdvisor reviews, we always acknowledge almost immediately our uh, reviews, good or bad, mainly good, and we invite them back. Uh, that, as I mentioned earlier in the TripAdvisor uh, um, presentation, that it gives you the opportunity to grow your credibility and show you have respect for your visitors and the fact that they really count, they're really important. And TripAdvisor, like I said, it can make or break your business. Uh, and obviously, if you have pride in what you do and you, you absolutely love what you do uh, and you're passionate about what you do, that's going to rub off on your guests and they're going to put it on TripAdvisor. And the more times you encourage them, go to TripAdvisor, give us a review, um, the more reviews you're going to get. Uh, simply, if you enjoyed this experience, tell everyone, tell the world, you know, put it on TripAdvisor. If not, keep it to yourself <laughs> or tell us right? Usually gets a laugh. Uh, and rather than having people ha go, you know, behind the scenes into TripAdvisor and, and mow you down, gives you an opportunity face to face to work it out. Okay, because not every day is going to be perfect. Uh, you can do your very best. And if you are, most people will recognise that and give you credit for that. Uh, but if you try and sweep them under the carpet like 15, 20 years ago, people didn't like you, they'd tell the person in the amenities block and the next amenities block down the caravan park, down the road. But that'd be about it. Now, uh, they can put a scar on your business for life. So you, you want to acknowledge the visitation, you want to have that conversation with the people before they go away, get on their phones and start giving you negative reviews because you are in control of your business and your reactions more so than anything. So if you react positively and compassionately, people will um, give you good reviews. And visitation, this is the pay dirt. This is where, you know, this is your bankability. This is money. This is, this is why you run a business other than having fun, by the way. Uh, and as a result, uh, you can see our passenger numbers growing, growing, growing. And you might notice that the increase 23.3% there uh, was actually over a year that we grew 20%. So the, the first, the, the uh, figures here in 13-14 were where we were grappling with getting a handle on, you know, just trying to spread it out there, get people working on the, the social media aspect. And you can see we're starting to get traction and uh, our actual likers on our, our Facebook page, we're running at about uh, 3,800 and something. So, you know, they're, they're not only people that you've got the opportunity to, um, to take out in an experience and bring back to you, but they're, they're your advocates as well. Okay, so um, <clears throat> your people and your business, as you can see, I've got a whole swag of awesome people. And you notice they're all smiling, they're fantastic people. Uh, up the top, um, top left, we've got Vionda, she's a Sea Shepherd captain, uh, driving Steve, Steve Irwin. Uh, Mitchy, doing his drop knee sandboarding action there. Uh, he's skippering today. Um, Blake and Tani, Tani's my uh, larkette. And she's also my chick, my girl. And Blakey, uh, Blakey, he's, he's awesome. Uh, he works three different jobs just to, uh, to make sure, because he, he's 
he's uh, come from an industry background years ago, and uh, he, he is one motivated human. He's awesome, and uh, he does a lot for the community. He's a fire, uh, the, one of the fireys there. He's also um, a lark man, like myself. Down the bottom left there, you've got Stuart Buchanan. That man is a living artefact, flat out. He was a lighthouse keeper in the 70s, and uh, he was a lighthouse keeper at the Bustard Headlight Station. That's where his passion is. Him and his late wife, Shirley, got to work, and we restored the light station, and he still comes up and uh, makes his uh, ad appearance, and he gets in and, and maintains the station. Am I running over time? I'm over time. I'm way out of time. Okay, <laughs> moving right along. Sandboarding, it's awesome. Getting your photos out there um, and, and make, running photo competitions is another one I like to do with our guests. Throw it out there, get photo competitions. Uh, they sign the photos of it. You can produce your marketing collateral with photos that your guests take. Uh, of course, uh, I'm speaking faster now. And uh, this is a splashdown. <laughs> this is uh, where, a bit of a highlight for most people. A couple of views of a splashdown. And uh, having a greater good for your business, uh, Sea Shepherd, once again, we promote and push Sea Shepherd flat out. Tourism Tribe, uh, I can't thank you enough for putting together that platform. Uh, Tourism Tribe is fantastic. It is wonderful because you're able to upskill your staff, little webinars and stuff like that. So you've got 15 minutes today. Have a look on your, uh, I'm talking, talking from an employee to my staff. You've got 15 minutes today. Have a look. Upskill yourself, get some fine tuning, get it out there. Eco certified tourism operators, clustering, that's a Southern Great Barrier Reef, Instagram. So, this is me playing with a. Uh, um, little bit of. Uh, Bye movie, one night. I just batch this up for fun. So, Tourism Australia share it. Cool. Yeah. Literally two hours of messing around. That's, yeah, that's a couple of hours messing around. You can batch up that sort of stuff and uh, shoot it out there on the Facebook, there's any social media. Um, and then, you know, people like it and share it and like it and share it. I don't know how many thousands of views it's got, but um, it's a few. Right, um, and of course, stuff like that, Tourism Australia, they're onto it. Um, now they've, they've said, hey, hey guys, we like what you do. Now, it's awesome. They start putting us in their publications, stuff like that. There is a little clickable link on this uh, PowerPoint presentation if you want to check it out more. Uh, using your guests as your advocates, right, and uh, coming out with brainstorming and, and coming up with little hashtags and stuff that you can use along the way. Uh, getting little kids to hold your massive lark up. You know, it's all part of the fun, right? And we hand out little handout uh, laminated. These are your options. You know, you can do stuff like this. Um, and it's not hard, it's fun. And ultimately, that's what we do. This is uh, our customers' feedback onto our facey. Uh, that's not a, a reflection of the eagles, that's two eagles having a little battle right beside the lark as we're cruising down the beach, some young'uns. Uh, I, I particularly like the reflection shot. I, I aim to find that on our afternoon cruise to get that photo. Obviously, uh, one of our guests has done some creativity with their um, photoshopping and. I love it. I reckon it's pretty cool. Uh, and uh, ultimately, uh, that's my workplace. Yep. Love what you do. And tourism is about fun, all right? At the end of the day, if you're not having fun with it, go on a holiday, see what other people do, come back and uh, commence to have fun. Thank you. I just think that's fantastic. You know, it doesn't have to be so hard. You know, we've rammed a lot into this day because I think we all ram a lot into our days and maybe that's part of the digital leap. How do we simplify it? How do we go back to the fun? 
you know, you see that you see, you know, Dana talked about it, just getting that one moment and building back from that moment, that shot of there is going to go be shared more than just a shot of a luck by itself. You know, make those moments for your customers. It's so, it doesn't have to be so hard, and maybe that's where we start with Digital Leap. 